the number four team in the nation to beat UConn for the first time in 10 years. How does it feel? <laughs> I, uh, I'm speechless. It's, uh, it's just huge. And uh, it's, you know, it's great to beat a team of that quality with the, the amount of talented players and they're extremely well coached. But finally, our team just believed in the process and believed in the game plan. And we threw something different at them and they executed it. And, uh, and we had contributions all over the field from the, our forwards working their, their tails off through Katie Kelly having to play in the midfield, our whole midfield, and then Alicia and Hannah coming up with amazing saves at the end of the game. So it's, it's fantastic. Talk about Lindsay Bowman, another contributor. She tips home Mika Black's uh, initial shot. And really the poise of the freshmen impressed me today. You know, they teamed up on that goal, but they were out there a good portion of the day, and I thought they really acquitted themselves well. Your thoughts? Yeah, the well, when you, you're playing it's the number four team in the country, and four or five freshmen are starting the game. Uh, so it's they've just been fantastic. They, they came in fit and healthy. They work so hard. They're still a little rough around the edges, but you work hard together as a unit, and anything is possible. And uh, the energy and work rate that they provide uh, really sets the tone for, for UMass field hockey, and uh, uh, yeah, it's great to have so many freshmen contributing. You had an injury today. You reshuffled your lineup a little bit. You had Katie Kelly in the midfield. You had uh, Michaela Potts back. And, you know, did you have a lot of confidence knowing they're experienced players, they can handle this and really lead those uh, sections of your lineup? Yeah, I knew that we could handle it hands down. Uh, I think initially they probably didn't think that they could handle it. We'd started a, a different sort of press at UConn earlier in the week. And, uh, you know, they were questioning it a little bit and then we just kept working at it and then T got injured and we had to then shuffle our line up. Uh, but once once they believed in it and executed it, it was I had absolutely all the faith in the world that it could be done and they, they did it. Finally, you have a, a team of experienced players and some newcomers as well. What can a win like this do to really lift your season from this point? Well, it can do a, a lot to help it and it can do a lot to hurt it as well. Uh, you know, we really want to enjoy this moment, but there's a very quick turnaround for Yale tomorrow and it's a huge danger game for us coming off a, 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 the, one of the biggest wins of, of their career and mine. And then uh, we have to travel to Yale, and they're a really tough opponent. And uh, so we've got to take care of business, and it's back to the drawing board, and uh, stay true to the process and keep preparing for the Atlantic 10s. Well, Justine, congratulations. Take us through that goal. Mika Black fired one. You deflected it home. Yeah, it was actually like she went to said she went to reverse chip it, and it was actually weird. I just got my body in front of it, and this hit the stick, and it went over the keeper in the net. Oh. I can't explain how I felt though, like, oh my gosh. And as it turned out, it was a game-winning goal against the number four team in the nation against your arch rival. I... Your first goal of your career. Wow. I know, I know. It's funny because um, Katie's my big sister, and as you know, she's like a crucial player and key component to like the UMass team. And it was funny because she was joking around with me last night, and she's like, if you want to be my little sister, she's my big sister, she's like, if you want to be my little sister, you have to start scoring. So like, I came in today knowing it was a big game, and like... I'm like, Katie, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this for you. So, You went and you did it. Now, were you nervous at all out there? You know, you get the goal. The clock probably felt like it was running in slow motion at various points of the game in the second half. Were you nervous or were you just so focused on trying to get the game I taken mean, care of? I mean, there's probably, like, I was, it's a big game, so there's obviously, like, a bunch of nerves going, like, but it was more of, like, focusing in the moment, like, playing in the moment. And finally, you know, there's been a lot of freshmen that have seen action, yourself included. How's the adjustment period been up to this point? And then, you know, obviously this certainly helps things, uh, getting a game-winning goal against the number four team in the nation. I know. Well, this is definitely a confidence booster. I mean, um, college ball is a lot more strategic than high, um, high school. So, I mean, like, we, we've been working on the press and outletting and a whole bunch of things like that at practice. But this is definitely a confidence booster now. Congratulations.